leftover rice. What do you do with it? Well, you stick it in the fridge and then the next day you can use it to make awesome meals. And today I'm gonna to make one of my favorite ones. It's a chili, egg and bacon rice. Hopefully by tomorrow morning, after I eat this, my ring will be the same color as this, pushing out all those delicious chili flavors. Anyway, there's hardly any ingredients. Let's check them out. So basically it's just some bacon, eggs. I've got some spring onions. Of course I've got some chili garlic and some soy sauce. Now I'm not sure that that's going to be enough chili so I got some more just in case. Well there's not much to cut up either. Let's do that as well. Okay. Alrighty well let's start doing this. So I've got the good old Aussie bacon. Just have a look at it. Oh boy! Makes me so proud. Brings a tear to my eye when I see it. Now a lot of the times you normally cut the rind off here but I'm not going to. You know what? It's part of the bacon. We're going to leave it on. It's part of life. It's part of living. Bacon is life. Bacon is love. So leave the skin on. It's only skin. It's not like you're being a cannibal or anything. Unless you're a pig eating of this, of course, which I wouldn't blame them. I mean, it tastes so good. What's your favourite bacon? Mine is bacon. <laughs> so nice rough cuts. No fancy restaurant here. This is just for full on flavor. Now I want to start this cooking because it does take a little while to cook to the my preference, which is really well done. So is this warm? Oh, you, f yes, that's warmed up, perfect. So I'll add a bit of oil in there to get this bacon sizzling and chuck it in and start that cooking. So just some of the other things I want to do is cut up some chili. I've just got a couple of different varieties here because one is never enough and I really want this to burn and burn hard. And also I've got the spring onion here which I'll just, you know, cut into bits. Giddy up. Right, that's, that's all the cutting done, which is awesome, because I hate cutting. So now it's time to grab a bowl and start whacking the eggs in. Ah, into the bowl, hopefully. I just better quickly go and turn the bacon. Yep, 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 turning. So let's add in this chili into the egg. Now I really don't think that's going to be enough chili which is why I've got some more here. Now this stuff is so hot. Oh mate, this jar's lasted me years. So I'll add some more of this in. This is really so hot this chili which is perfect for that ring burn that I'm trying to achieve. Okay how's this bacon going? Yep, it's going not too bad. Still cooking away. I really want to get it that nice crispy colour. So I'll just keep that cooking until that happens. Alright, well that's getting more to the way I like it. Do you know how I can tell? Because it's popping and burning me. Woo wee! Oh, goodness gracious. So that's looking pretty good. So now to that, I want to just add some things. The garlic. I really want to add about a good teaspoon of that in. Maybe more. Yeah. Got to have garlic. And you know what else? The other day I added some ginger. So I thought, you know what, I'll just add a little bit of ginger. Just a pinch. Seem to add some nice flavours. Mix that through. Get that frying for a bit. Maybe a minute. Now I also wanted to add in the white bits of that spring onion because they're pretty good at being onion tasting. <laughs> so we'll get those cooking as well. Wow, mm -mm, this smells so good. So let's make some space. So I want to chuck in these eggs. There's, ooh, <laughs> there's bits popping everywhere. So I'll get that oil down there first and I'll pour the eggs into there. Those chilied eggs. And I want to start scrambling these. 
So we'll move them around the frying pan. Let them hit the bottom. Yep, 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 right. These won't take too long. Beautiful. So now I can start just chopping that into little bits using my spatula. There you go. Mix it in with the bacon. Oh, and I can smell the chili coming off that. It's burning my nose rings now. So I'll grab the rice. I'll just use as much as I think that I'll need. This was one cup of rice that I'm using. So I'll probably only use about half of it. Maybe three quarters of it. Then I can save that bit of rice for another meal. So now we're just gonna need to mix it through basically just to heat that rice up. Shouldn't take too long. I'll add in the rest of the spring onions now. Mm. Oh, that looks good. But I'll also add some soy sauce here to add a little bit more flavor. Just a splash, not too much. But there you have it. Just a nice, simple chili, egg and bacon rice. So I've just whipped up in no time at all. Mm-mm, smells and looks good. So let's plate some up and dive on in for the old chili, chili eggy, eggy bacon, bacon rice, rice taste test. Okay, so to make this pretty, I'll just grab myself a bowl and start packing it in there. I'd love to pack it in. That's what she said. Push it down. And now I'll just put the plate on top Hoping that that's in the middle. Give it a flip. Two taps. And voila. Mmm. -mm. That looks tasty. But you know what would make it look even better? Some green stuff on top. All right, how good does that look? Mmm. -mm. Well, let's see if this is going to send me to the hospital or not. Come at me. Oh, hey, hey. <laughs> oh, oh, ah! mm. oh, that's cool. Beautiful and spicy with just the right amount of seasoning. Mmm. Like, top notch. Oh, boy. I hope you enjoy that chili, eggy, bacony rice as much as I am. I hope you enjoyed this video too. Remember to show it some thumbing love. Subscribe if you haven't already. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. I cook something. <laughs> oh, yeah. This is Greg's Kitchen, where today I made some chili, eggy, bacony rice. Hopefully it won't set your toilet bowl on fire.